Harriers in their red shirts, white sleeves, red shorts, red socks against Kings Lynn in royal blue shirt and shorts and yellow socks. The goalkeepers, Will Mannion in sort of charcoal coloured goalkeeping kit, his opposite number. Alex Street in all orange. Harriers then will take the centre, Hemmings is on it, the referee just checking that there's enough people on the ground. Up the line is Moyo, who's going forward. Well, it's still 0-0, we've had nearly 15 minutes play here, it's, the Harriers are doing a, a sterling job, they haven't come under a little bit of pressure, certainly with the wind assistance that Kings Lynn will find as they're attacking the goal away to our right-hand side. Harriers had a, an early uh, change where they uh, conceded a very early corner, but fortunately for them, Ryan Johnson was there to head that danger clear. Harriers themselves have just this second forced the first corner of the game for themselves. After 15 minutes, it remains Kings Lynn Town nil, Kidderminster Harriers nil. There he is in first corner, 15 minutes. Chester have got an equaliser up at York. Chester 1, York City 1. Or should I say York City 1, Chester 1 even. There he is with the corner. Ball comes into the near post. It's going to drop out. Prosser with the shot and Prosser with the goal. Harry is ahead. Kings Lynn failed to clear their lines and Alex Prosser has driven the ball into the back of the goal. Hemmings corner caused all sorts of problems at the near post. Kings Lynn didn't recover it, and Prosser drilled home from 16 yards. There he is. I've got some defending to do. Jones with the free kick, curling it towards the far side. It's a free header and a looping header, and it's just wide. It's a good effort there. Good turn there from Hemming on the edge of the area. Can he find an opening for any one of his strike partners? Trying to turn it away, block though. Johnson it is, who clips it in, it's taking a deflection into the path of Samuels. Can he get a shot away? Good skill, good control, little flick. And the ball's dipped just over the bar. Jarvis has taken up another position in the centre, but Harriers get the ball through to Austin Samuels, back to Johnson. Down the line to Austin, there was a foul there, but the referee has not given it, and then Hemmings wins the ball back from Jarvis. Gets to this left-hand side, ball into the centre, it's two! Oh, and it's Chambers! Who drills the ball in the back of the net? Nathan Fox beaten to it. What a ball in. It swept in at pace along the six yard line. Fox was second to it because Chambers stuck out a boot and drilled it in the bottom left hand corner. Kings Lynn keeping hold of the ball as uh, Henderson has it out to power far side. The referee blows the whistle at half time. And I think it's going to be pretty much like that all the way as a header down from Hemmings into the path of. Chambers, everything to his left, can he find it through, square ball back to Hemmings who's got the ball on his left foot Chambers stands his ground, Chambers shot takes a deflection and it'll be a corner to Harriers and now he's looking to launch it forward and there are four going after this, Austin's underneath it with a header away, not the best one, it's going to drop down, now a chance for the substitute to get in behind Moyo, has he got a shot away, oh he's flicked it over it's a corner ball great block from uh, Mannion Substitute again. Hawkins with the delivery, he's cut it back. Oh, I think if he'd have left it, there's players running on, but Harry's going to have a three on two here. They played over the top. Samuels is on a run. Can Samuels sprint away with the ball? He's got it down away from Richards. And he's, well, I've got to be honest, it's a combination of Richards and Jones denying him on the edge of the area. And Harry has, oh, what a mistake there by uh, Jones. Chambers looks into Prosser. Prosser back to Moyo. Moyo draws Gash. Plays it into Chambers. Lifted towards the far side. Austin's racing in. Harriers have got a chance here. Samuels is unmarked in the area. Austin's got the ball at his feet. Turning it around. Should have had a shot away. Oh, Harriers are. Well, they're going to give this away in the area. They had a great opportunity there. Sam Galvanised his team. Five forward for Kings Lynn now. As the ball's driven forward towards Gash. Firm header infield, chested down. Marius, little ball to Carey. Carey's shot, but it's always going wide. To the substitute, Carey. Drilled cross field. Gash keeps it alive. Little ball into the centre, right across the face of goal. And Harry is uh, lucky that uh, there was nobody to apply a finishing touch there. Because that would have got nowhere to go, so he plays it back to McCauley again. Clipped in towards the near post. Low with a firm header away. Carey couldn't collect, now it's Samuels. 
Samuels bearing down, one man to beat. Goes round the outside of him, good run from Austin Samuels. Low shot, kicked away by the goalkeeper. And it'll be away for a corner, will it? Yes, it will. Free kick, far side, floated into the Harriers area. Not cleared away, it's going to drop down. Shot comes in, he's drilled it over the bar. And would you believe it's Marriott? Ten yards out, and he's hit this on the rise. And the league's leading marksman looks up skywards. Butterfield, return pass to uh, Williams. He can look to the left-hand side, finds Chambers. There he is, trying to make a run. A little back heel is Nubby with a low drive, and it's taken by the keeper. Oh, raced onto it, tried it first time. Both centre-backs up, Smith and McCauley. McCauley makes a run to the near post. Gash with the header, but he's put it wide. And Harriers will take their time in getting the ball back onto the field of play. Good work from Butterfield, who did just enough to uh, take it away from him. Harriers are trying to play it back in, though. Now it's back with the, uh, Jones into the area. It's header on by McCauley, but he's put it wide. Harriers trying to defend again as the ball's played forward. Marriott comes off against Johnson this time, still with the ball at his feet. Marriott turns them again, now he's got a long-range effort. Fires one, hurried away by Mannion. And Moyo beaten to it by Gash. Gash back into the area, trying to find an open for the opening for the shot. Hasn't got it. Jones with the overlapping run. Harriers all back in their own 18-yard box, charged down there by Nabi. And to the far side, Jones with the ball in, it's ahead of by Marriott, it's come off Butterfield, and it's a corner ball. Out to the far side again, now there's a chance for Hawkins to run infield. Trying to find an opening, Carey with it. Power out on the left now, Moyo's come across to track him. Back to Carey, Carey curling a ball in towards the goal, and it's all, it was nearly finished. Marriott almost getting on the end of it. Kingsland goalkeeper Alex Street just getting his paws there ahead of the uh, Harriers man. Well, Harriers on the defensive now. The ball's played into the centre, it's taken by Mannion. Down at the foot of his near post. On that far side, his left hand up, right ball. Crept, trying to be. Decides against it. Pushes it out to Jones, who's in Harriers territory. 10 15 yards in. Carey sweeping the ball out to the substitute Hawkins, right hand side. He's put a lovely ball in, it's headed on by Johnson, only as far as uh, the power who's uh, shot right-footed. He's always curling away and going across goal. Kings Lynn are on the verge of being beaten here on their own soil. Harriers, to a man, have worked exceptionally hard. They've taken the chances. Harriers 19th in the table prior to the start of play. The referee blows the whistle, and Kidderminster Harriers have come away to the league leaders and taken three valuable, massive points in the fight to avoid relegation from Panorama National League North. The first goal arriving on the quarter hour mark, Harriers' first corner, Hemmings from the right hand side, Alex Prosser was there. But Harriers then went forward seven minutes before the break, though so Ashley Hemmings took the ball down the left-hand side, crossed along the six-yard box, and who else but Ashley Chambers, Harriers leading marksman. Excellent result then for Jimmy Shan and his players. A final score here, Kingsley nil, Kidderminster Harriers two.